Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a college student who loves living a healthy and balanced lifestyle and in today's video I'm gonna eat like Nicole Laino for a day. Nicole is a super entertaining YouTuber and she's only in high school and I thought it would be so fun to see everything she eats in a day. As always this video will be full of tons of easy and healthy and nourishing recipes so I hope you enjoy them. Some of the healthy recipes in today's video include these brownie pancake bites, the creamiest springtime pasta, an easy fried rice recipe, and the best protein-packed Rice Krispie treats that only require three ingredients. I post YouTube videos every single Sunday and we're almost at 100,000 subscribers so it'd mean the world to me if you subscribed. Go grab a snack and enjoy today's video. Good morning! I am so excited to eat like Nicole or Coley for a day. She's just so cool. She reminds me of like a younger Emma Chamberlain and she's just a great role model for younger girls which is why I wanted to eat like her for a day. And it's funny because I'm in college, I'm about to graduate so I feel like Nicole could be like my younger sister. But when I was her age I was really struggling when it came to like my relationship with my body diet exercise so to see someone Nicole's age that really advocates for just like living life and enjoying all foods it's just so cool so yeah I'm really excited to eat like her for today I'm gonna go grab a snack because it is about to rain here in UC Berkeley I want to take advantage of the Sun while I can so Nicole she likes to snack on bananas so I'm gonna eat a banana and we're gonna get some sunlight it's good to start the day with some Sun I'm gonna get a nice little swim workout and then we're gonna start with this amazing day of food so let's go work out. I hadn't gone swimming in so long because I got my period for what felt like two weeks straight, which I mean, that's not true, but it definitely felt like it was forever. But now I'm finally ready to go swimming and put on my swim cap and my goggles and just feel like a rock star. But of course I grabbed my banana snack first and then I headed to the pool and it was still sunny even though it was slated to rain a little bit later. So I jumped in the pool, which was mercifully heated. So it was nice and room temperature. And I didn't realize that my swim cap was on backwards the whole time. I mean, what? is that like it just looks you know what I'm not gonna say what it looks like but I know we're all thinking it so yeah uh, I look ridiculous but the swim workout was amazing I swam for about 45 minutes and then I headed home and I was super hungry so let's make some breakfast so Nicole's in high school and she's posted a couple what I eat in a week videos so I had a lot of inspiration to pull from for today's recipe as always you guys know that like I love cooking so much and I saw that she's eaten pancakes and waffles a bunch of times so I decided to make these delicious like pancake bites. It's almost like fondue because basically we're gonna make a dark chocolate brownie pancake batter out of oat flour, a little bit of egg, some almond milk, and then we're gonna chop up some banana slices and strawberry slices. And yes, I keep the stem on because I mean strawberry leaves are yummy. You don't have to if you don't want to. And then you're gonna dip each fruit slice into pancake batter. You could also do this with berries, but honestly strawberries and banana is the best combination with this chocolate batter. After all the fruit has been covered in the pancake batter, you're just gonna fry it on a pan with a little bit of oil until it's golden on both sides and it's honestly kind of like tempura so basically you get like a really crunchy and crispy outer shell for the pancakes but then the fruit gets really caramelized and gooey so it's honestly just so good and so sweet and it feels like a dessert <laughs> It's like crunchy and crispy on the outside, but so gooey on the inside. And the strawberries are like caramelized. So it's almost like peanut butter and jam, you know, cause they get like nice and gooey and so sweet. Oh my God. I know I, I always say this. My main happiness comes from the kitchen. So when I create something like this, I'm like, this is my best creation yet. Even though I say that every time, but that's a part of life. You know, you always feel like you're doing better every day. You're always improving. It's okay to think that every meal you create is your best one. I have to keep getting content. The life of a food vlogger. <laughs> Welcome to my tiny kitchen. I am about to graduate college in like less than two weeks, which is absolutely ridiculous. Red, ridiculous, ridiculous. And oh, the pan is too hot. Ever since I started posting food videos on social media, and I started when school went online, really. What's funny, I've always looked up to YouTubers. Like, I don't know if you guys ever watched Sarah's Day. She was like this old Australian YouTuber who was really popular like a couple years ago. She still is, but I basically have always wanted to be a YouTuber or like really a content creator based around food because 
because I mean how cool would it be to just like cook every day and not necessarily like have to work in a restaurant but just like cook for yourself and film it and have that be your job you know it's just so cool because like food is my biggest passion so when I started posting food videos I was like wow like it's really crazy that I could just do this for the rest of my life like obviously I won't do it forever but like for the next couple years while I'm still young <laughs> in my 20s like it's a dream job really but it's definitely been a little bit challenging to film like good quality food videos in my kitchen here in Berkeley because it's tiny and like the lighting isn't really good like right now it could be midnight or it could be 10 a.m and the lighting always stays the same because it's like artificial which is fine you know but I'm definitely excited to go back home to Cabo Mexico which is where I'm from if you're new here things are changing I only have a couple weeks left here and then I'm gonna go to Los Angeles you'll see the vlog there because I'm so excited to take you to LA I know it's very influencer -y, but the supermarkets there are incredible if you watch Emma Chamberlain you'll know that she always goes to like farmers markets and this place called Erewhon which is like a very bougie fancy grocery store in Los Angeles it, it's my favorite thing ever I just love going to grocery stores I'm a grandma so yeah I'm gonna go to LA and then home to Cabo and I'll be graduated and we'll see what I do if you guys watched one of my past vlogs you'd know that I'm trying to decide whether I should move to Los Angeles uh, like LA influencery stuff or Italy so I can live like my call me by your name dreams and like go to different places in Europe and like have an Italian grandma teach me how to cook pasta like that would be a dream too so I have like these two futures balancing LA Italy I don't know what I'm gonna do but that's like a little life update that really isn't an update because I don't have anything figured out like nothing I have no idea what I'm gonna do and that's totally fine if you're graduating high school if you're taking a gap year if you're about to graduate college if you're like moving to a new country for a new job like it doesn't matter what stage of life you're in there's always gonna be uncertainties and you just gotta roll with the punches you know appreciate the moments in life that aren't too certain because you know it's really cool to see all the different like different universes that you could belong to you know like parallel universes you choose one decision in life and it literally changes the entire outcome of your life which is stressful but also very cool because there's literally like no limits to the possible lives that you could live in or the possible alternate universes you could live in if you like watch Rick and Morty or like Loki <laughs> so yeah let's cook lunch I'm sorry that was a ramble oh yeah so I didn't say what we're making for lunch so Nicole she always talks about how her mom cooks for her or like she'll get takeout and stuff and she said that she really likes Chinese food so I was like okay I'm gonna make a super easy fried rice recipe that's super nourishing and energizing but also like ridiculously easy so if you're like intimidated by cooking or you want to like start this is like so easy or if you're super busy you know because it's mostly like frozen Trader Joe's items so it couldn't be easier Let's make the easiest fried rice in the world. First, you're gonna choose your favorite vegetables. I love broccoli and cabbage, but you could use any fresh or frozen vegetables that you have on hand. You're gonna saute that with some sesame oil, some minced garlic, some soy sauce, and a little bit of red pepper flakes. Some sriracha would be amazing this as well. And meanwhile, you're gonna heat up some frozen rice in the microwave. I get mine from Trader Joe's and it's so convenient, but honestly, if you wanna cook fresh rice, you do you, but that's gonna take an hour and we're all about convenience over here. I recommend adding green onions to the saute as well for extra flavor and once once your veggies are nice and soft, you're gonna add your cooked rice and an egg and just whisk that all together. Add more sesame oil and soy sauce as you see fit, or you could also use coconut aminos, which tastes kind of similar to soy sauce, but I don't think it has like soy. Yeah, I don't know. It's yummy anyways. Cook the egg with the rice and vegetables for about three minutes or until it's fully cooked. Add more sesame oil, more coconut aminos or soy sauce, and you're done. You've got your fats, your carbs, your protein, so it's really balanced. It's so nourishing. It's gonna give you lots of energy and it's absolutely delicious. And and yes, I burned myself here. Now let's get ready for the next recipe, which might be the one I'm most excited for. The day has gotten even more rainy and gloomy, which is honestly super cozy. So I took a shower, I'm gonna do some gua sha, but the next recipe I'm gonna make is gonna be so fun. So in one of her recent YouTube videos, I saw that Nicole loves to eat Rice Krispie treats. Nicole specifically likes strawberry Rice Krispie treats. Very cute. Anyway, I'm excited to spend today with you guys and just like cook, have some wholesome days in the kitchen. I'm gonna do some gua sha and then we'll get started on the Rice Krispie Treats. After taking a shower, I put on another super fashionable outfit, which is just like a long sleeve shirt and sweatpants because I have no sense of fashion, but I'm so excited because we're gonna go to the grocery store, which is like my favorite place in the world. I honestly prefer to go to the grocery store like two to three times a week to do smaller shopping sprees instead of one big one a week, just because going to the grocery store makes me so happy, but it was as 
promise, super cloudy and rainy right now, but you know, it's okay. Grocery stores always have a way to pick up my mood, even if it's like so gross out. I already knew what I was gonna get because I had to write it down on my hand because my phone was out of battery. So I knew what I wanted, but I still walked up and down every single grocery aisle because again, it just brings me so much happiness. I picked up some rice cakes and some freeze dried strawberries because that's what's gonna go in our next recipe, which I'm so excited for. And here I'm doing a YouTuber thing, which is like pretending to pick something up from a shelf, but I don't even drink coffee. So like this was totally fake. I just wanted to like get a cute little POV of me shopping. So for these Rice Krispie treats, we only really need three ingredients. We're gonna crush up some rice cakes, then we're gonna add some peanut butter and some honey or maple syrup and just mix that up until it's nice and combined. It should kind of look like cookie dough, so you really only need three ingredients for the main recipe, and then you can add any toppings you want. I added freeze-dried strawberries because like I said, Nicole loves her strawberry Rice Krispie treats, but you could also mix in some cocoa powder to make this brownie flavored. You could add chocolate chips, you could add coconut flakes, you could add really anything you want. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what We gotta get the recipe for Instagram Follow me there for daily recipes by the way At Jazz Tyler The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown it's so good. It's high in protein. It's legit three ingredients plus like whatever toppings you want like strawberries, chocolate chips, coconut. You could do like turtles, like you know like pecans, caramel chips and chocolate drizzle like on top after you like press it in. Literally, there's no limits to what you can do with this recipe. Peanut butter, maple syrup or honey, rice cakes. You could add protein powder to this too. Delightful. I'll see you guys in a bit. ready for this pasta recipe because it is so creamy and delicious and Nicole often eats pasta so I was like okay I'm gonna create a recipe that I think she would love because first of all it's super easy to make you're just gonna mix some peas some pesto some cream cheese and a little bit of almond milk and I added all the ingredients here on the screen so you can make it yourself and of course we got to add lots of Parmesan too and once that's been simmering for about 10 minutes we're gonna add in our cooked pasta this makes the sauce so creamy and delicious and it only takes like less than 10 minutes to cook and it just feels like springtime vibes because peas Peas are like a really springtime vegetable and I added a little bit of lemon juice on top and yeah it's just amazing and here I'm trying to do the thing that I always see chefs doing like when they cook pasta and I was actually successful I mean I don't know I feel like that looks really impressive maybe it's not but yeah <laughs> That's what good pasta sounds like. Oh my god. It's so creamy and garlicky and parmesan-y. Wow. She is. And if you're new to my channel, I never really judge the people that I eat like because everyone's diet is so different. There's no way for me to say like, oh, this is the best diet or this is the worst one. No, everyone's different. But I do want to end off this video by saying that I feel like Nicole has such a balanced and really great mentality when it comes to food. Like I mentioned, when I was her age, I was going through some really hard times when it came to like my relationship with food, my relationship with my body, not feeling confident, being really extreme when it came to the diets I was on. So yeah, if you guys watch Nicole, I think she's such a great role model. She's a dancer. She knows how to feel herself properly. She knows that she's still growing So she needs to eat to fuel her body and to be strong and energized. So I just love her I think she's amazing and of course this day of eating was so good, too So that's pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every single Sunday And it would mean the world to me if we reached 100k subscribers before I graduate and turn 22 Which is in less than a month. So guys, we got to get moving share my channel with your friends tell them to subscribe and yeah, I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye, love you.